Look at my new adorable MacBook. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag I have a diamond anus. Um, <laughs> why is he eating it? Is he that hungry? The hell? What? I'm fantastic. You guys, I love Apple so much. Like, I'm the biggest Apple fan. I just, I love it so much that I literally want to eat it. Like, I want to eat Apple. <laughs> I want to shove it in my mouth. I want to digest it. I want Apple inside of me. <laughs> and so today, I am making an edible MacBook. Yes, it's true. It's going to be 100% edible. And it's going to look just like a MacBook. It might not taste like one. But it's going to slay. And the dog is barking. Shut up. So yes, it's gonna be so much fun, but before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to become a tomato. We're trying to reach 800,000 tomatoes, and it would slay if you could become a juicy red tomato. Once again, this is a collaboration, y'all. Timmy, you collab in every video. And the problem is, what? What's the problem? Nothing. <laughs> we are all making edible things or food related things and it's gonna be amazing so go check out everyone's videos in the description. The people that I'm collabing with are Karina Garcia is making a mini iPhone. Glitter Forever 17 is making edible nail polish. Lise Bug is making edible wine bottles. And Lucas is making a Starburst air freshener. Slay, 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 yum, yum, yum. Go subscribe to all of them. They're all amazing, amazing YouTubers. All their links and info and the video links and will be below. <laughs> Do a nail, bitch. <laughs> so let's get started with this edible Mac. I think it's gonna slam. <laughs> Y'all, I was talking on a queef. Enjoy. I am doing this voiceover at six in the morning. I stayed up all night, so I apologize if I fall asleep or queef or piss my pants. You will need a laptop case to use as a mold, <laughs> so waste that shit. You'll need tons of candy mouse, like a ton, and you'll need plastic wrap, the shit you put on sandwiches, and this silver sprayable food coloring. I sprayed it on my ass and I felt like a robot. So first step, we're gonna take a big ass bowl and we're gonna put all of our candy melts into the bowl. It was really strenuous, honestly. Like It took a lot of ever and I was sweating and my vagina became a swamp but it was worth it so we're gonna take our laptop case and dissect it so basically we're just gonna rip it the fuck apart we're gonna take off all the little extra things just make it like a bear case so rip that shit off rip that little dick off take the little tag off take off the middle thingy what is that a bondage strap this is not 50 shades of gray my tomato seeds are precious and you need to stay away from my tomato seeds aka my ball sack so then i cut through the zipper and i honestly felt like a strong straight man like hammering shit and like you know you know building a house so then i put the plastic wrap on it to protect the case from the chocolate even though the case is shit now because it's useless but you know i didn't want the case on the chocolate i'm honestly confusing myself <laughs> And I I just, I didn't want the chocolate in the case to touch because condoms, I guess, or say, wear safety. It's still six in the morning. Remember that. <laughs> so I obviously melted the candy melts on my nipples because they're so hot. And then I put in some food coloring to make it grayish kind of just, you know, so the whole thing is gray. And then I filled it up and honestly, look at how hot those shots are. Like if I was a YouTube clip, that would be me. Like that's how hot it is. Like that's the top hot. Like that's the ghost pepper hot. Like my dick is a ghost pepper. So then I smoothed it out and it was looking so damn fine. And I just kept smoothing it until, and then, oh, and then I added more. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> Help. So I tapped it to get all the air bubbles out and make it look really smooth and then it was hardened So I took off the little plastic thingies and that side was so ugly It made a design on it and it looked really weird. It looked like a damn spaceship So then I took my spray food coloring and I just sprayed it all over made it kind of look metal But not I thought it would be more metally looking to be honest like more like ET phone homes like little house But I guess ET was on vacation on earth because his house was not looking shiny He hadn't shined his aluminum house in a while and he needs to fix that shit so then i put more candy melts in the middle in between the two pieces to stick them together and it doesn't actually open but you know what did you expect this is fucking edible not functional so please sit down so as you can see i drew the apple along with my finger because fingers can do very many different things <laughs> and then it was done and i ate it and it was it tasted like candy melts surprisingly every diy with candy melts tastes like candy melts who knew don't forget to subscribe to become a tomato i'll see you on next video i love you so much Ooh, boo, boo.